Hello, this is Dr. Jeetan Bendor for Physician Perspectives. Here's a fantastic topic. Regulation of skeletal muscle influences cognitive function. This paper titled, Does the Regulation of Skeletal Muscle Influence Cognitive Function? A scoping review of preclinical evidence. Basically, the authors were interested in the cognitive impairment, which is a major challenge for the elderly. And it can progress in a rapid manner and effective treatments are limited. We know that sarcopenic elderly have a higher risk of dementia. So this review aims to reveal whether muscle is a mediator of cognitive function from preclinical evidence. The authors started off with 7,638 papers and narrowed down their search to 17 papers which were appropriate for their analysis. Out of these 17 preclinical studies, four studies reported that muscle atrophy and injury harmed memory, functional factors and neurons in the brain for rodents with or without Alzheimer's disease. Three studies observed exercise-induced muscle to secrete factors including lactate, fibronectin type 3 domain containing protein 5 and cathepsin B which plays essential roles in the elevation of cognitive functions and brain-derived neurotropic factor levels, that's BDNF levels. Now, muscle-targeted treatments including electrical stimulation and intramuscular injections had effective remote effects on the hippocampus. Six studies showed that muscle-specific overexpression of SCFE59 and neprilysin or myostatic knockdown alleviated AD symptoms. One study showed that muscle insulin resistance also led to deficient hippocampal neurogenesis in a specific type of mice. The authors conclude that the skeletal muscle is involved in the mediation of cognitive function. So the translational potential of this paper. The study summarizes the current evidence in how muscle affects cognition in molecular levels which supports muscle specific treatments as potential clinical strategies to prevent cognitive dysfunction. Thank you.